on the docket. Next on the docket. Next on the docket. We have a little um, insight into what might be happening behind the scenes at Thick Boy Studios. Um, what's this guy's name? BG. I call him BG. What's his actual name? Hella Mark Harley. Oh, I call him. We call him BG. I didn't know his name actually. So this is okay. This is the Mark that Clyde was talking about. I thought sure Mark Norman. Okay, so Hella Mark he, Hella Mark Harley. What kind of name is that? H M H. But I guess someone will say what kind of name is my name. But yeah, Hella Mark Harley. Hella Mark Harley. Cool. This dude is now, for, by all accounts, in charge of the Fire and the Kid flipping Instagram account. And he's now, I guess, maybe convinced Brendan to maybe lean into the trolls, lean into the shawbisms, um, and try to embrace the meme. In my opinion, this should have been done five years ago, six years ago, right? It's too late now. The horse has been bolted. The homeless cats are what they are. You're not going to now try and herd the cats and try to be the flipping shepherd. It's not going to happen. It's a little too late. It's a little too late. That's what I think anyway. A little bit too late for all that nonsense. But they're trying. They're trying to give it a go. And this guy has kind of now been employed as the de facto um, protector of Brendan and his reputation online. And he did his best job to you know, pseudo it, intellectualize himself out of whatever Brendan's doing and make sense of it. For me, he's just talking absolute bullshit, but we're going to give him a go and see what he has to say and comment as we go on. But I'm going to give you a definition of a word that I have been seeing a lot lately, specifically coming from people who are fans of the H3 podcast and the moron who hosts that. So uh, the word bully has been bantied around. Um... People who are good friends of mine <laughs> have been called bully, 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 bully behavior. Uh, you're a bully. You bullied me. And when it comes to rhetoric and breaking down arguments, the foundation of the language that we use to have these arguments and debates and come at the truth is the definitions of words. Fuck off, you fucking cunt. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what's this what's this guy talking about man what is this he's trying to get to the etymology of words now is that what we're doing to explain away why Brenda decided it was a good idea to jump in the DMs of Kalila to to tell to allegedly tell Annie that if she wanted or proposition Annie for a drug walk this that that was the genesis of the issue right just come out and apologise Say I'm sorry publicly, I'm going to do better, I did wrong, whatever, I didn't know what I was doing here, and keep it moving. <laughs> but now we are where we are now, where this man has to sit on his little podcast and try to um, Lucian Freud his way out of this. <laughs> just... I can't with these, this group of people are just amazing, I love them man. And, and isn't Brendan one of the main culprits of diluting what bullying actually means in this whole predicament didn't he get on the podcast and basically insinuate that he was being bullied <laughs> what <laughs> all right all right let's go let's go no more stopping no more stopping you might talk to a libertarian who will tell you taxation is slavery but he has to manipulate the word slavery so much that it loses its real definition becomes so broad that Anything you're doing that you don't want to do, you know, your mom makes you wash the dishes and that's slavery, right? Um, so you have to first agree to a standard definition of a word before you can move forward. Otherwise, the entire conversation gets muddled and it's pointless and you're talking past each other. But one person is going to be wrong because they're using a word in an inappropriate way. Bullying is an ongoing keyword there, ongoing and deliberate misuse of power. If you don't have any power, you can't bully anyone. In relationships through repeated verbal, physical, and or social behavior that intends to cause physical, social, and or psychological harm. It can involve an individual or group misusing their power or perceived power over one or more persons who feel unable to stop it from happening. The American Psychological Association defines bullying as a form of aggressive behavior in which someone intentionally and repeatedly 
causes another person injury or discomfort, bullying can take the form of physical contact, words, or... Oh, fuck off. So because he said repeatedly at the end, is he trying to suggest because Brian only shouted at Bobby Lee once over the phone, that doesn't constitute as bullying because it wasn't repeated. It was only on one, one occasion. Even though what Bobby Lee said on the podcast was that the bullying is like, um, is like, um, it's constant, right? It's the kind of ever, it's, it's like a cloud that kind of hovers over everyone's head because of Joe Rogan's outside, oversized kind of influence or whatnot, or because of how those guys basically run their little scene and their little industry that they're in. That's basically why that bullying exists. No one has to come out and overtly say to you things, you know, over the phone or shout at you or say mean things to you or get at you or threaten you with whatever. It could be just the mere presence of them in certain spaces that can make you feel as, you know, as if you're being bullied. And sometimes it can be true because sometimes it can be nonverbal. But this guy suggested because Brian Callen only did it once that it's not bullying. All right, cool, cool. For more subtle actions, uh, a bully can be an aggressive juvenile, an intimidating boss or colleague, a controlling romantic partner, an unruly neighbor, a high-pressure sales business representative, a condescending family member, a shaming social acquaintance, or those in a variety of other types of abusive relationships. But the key word there and the key theme there is ongoing with intention to cause injury or discomfort for the sake of such. So... If, for example, you get in an argument with a friend over a misunderstanding and you were really pissed at that person because they thought you did something like steal your car and then it turns out, oh, it, I just parked it in the wrong place. My bad and you apologize. Is that a form of bullying? I would say that's a misunderstanding that led to some unfortunate anger and if the person apologizes afterwards, well, it proves my point that it can't be ongoing and it can't be something that, you know, bullies tend to not apologize on their own accord, right? So, how far do you take that that stance? Or is that only applied to bullying? Would you say that to a rapist? If they only do it once, does that mean they're not a rapist? <laughs> do you say that once to murderers? To cheats? To liars? What? What? I've gotten a lot of accusations that, you know, for example, Brendan's a bully. In my DMs, people write me and I go, <laughs> talk to this one guy, I go, give me one example of that. Gives me a story from uh, a video that Brendan told five years ago about playing college football and getting into a uh, conflict with his roommate that ultimately ended in him pushing him through a glass door, but during a fight. <laughs> and, uh, no, 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 no. It wasn't a fight, by the way. Like, it, I would, I'd want to go, but again, these guys, I love it. When you're friends with somebody, you do excuse the, the bullshit. But let's be, let's be factual about this. The way Brendan described the story, it was very one-sided. There was a guy that he wasn't, like, sharing a dorm with when he was playing football. The, the, the genesis of their beef was that the guy was labeling his food. And Brendan thought it was ridiculous to label food. We're in a dorm, we're sharing it together, we should be sharing each other's food. The guy clearly wasn't down for the sharing of food, labelled it or started to hide stuff. And then Brendan thought that was a form of of aggression or like a microaggression or some sort of him trying to get him riled up. And they get into some sort of physical... No, Brendan then tries to get into physical altercation with the guy, but he doesn't want to fight him. And they get into... So, so he basically instigates the fight. The guy clearly doesn't want to fight back and it then results in him flying through a glass window, hence the phrase, good douche. But that was clear textbook evidence of somebody bullying somebody. He said clearly that he wasn't comfortable sharing food. However gay you think that is, however lame you think that is, he doesn't want to share food. He clearly has different views about it. Leave the guy alone. He doesn't. He keeps on doing it. I think he gets to a point where he spits in his face or something. Crazy shit happens in it. It's not just, oh, <laughs> they got into a fight. No, they didn't get to a fight. Brendan started the fight, <laughs> kept on going with the fight, 
and ended the fight without the other guy throwing even a punch in anger. <laughs> and then when the guy's mum called him up on the phone, he hung up on her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call that, but in my where I'm from, that's that's a form of bullying, my friend. Oh, mate! But I, I got respect him, man. He's properly, he's probably got himself like I'm gonna defend Brendan at all cost. I'm gonna suspend, re, I'm gonna suspend flipping, you know, reality for it. I'm gonna twist the very nature of space and time to make whatever Brendan does make sense. God damn it. Again, that's one of these things where they're peers, it's not ongoing, they're going back and forth to each other, escalating the situation, and I played college football too, at the D3 level. We had fist fights every day. People, we would shit in each other's helmets. Um, you know, we would poke fun at each other's bodies. Is that bullying? I don't think so, because we all participated in back and forth, and if you're free to retaliate against it, well, then you're sort of in a, a an equal, more egalitarian dynamic that it really cancels out any notion of bullying. If you're on the same plane as an acquaintance or you have a bigger platform or you're more successful or you have the same social connections and influence, then mm, it makes the claim of bullying a little bit hard to make. You can't have isolated incidents of emotion based on misunderstandings qualifies that. So it's just something in general. Imagine a bully like this trying to explain to you why he's not bullying you as he's taking your lunch money. <laughs> this isn't bullying. I'm merely suggesting that you should hand over the money that was given to you by your parents in order for you to acquire said food so that I can acquire the said food that you were going to eat and then spit it back into your face so that you can have something to eat at the end of the day. That is not bullying. That is merely me suggesting to you a better way to, to use your funds. <laughs> and we call that socialism. What is this fucking donut talking about? General, I'd like to clear that up. And we will do more of this as we need to define words in order to make a case that some people are telling the truth and some people are misusing the most basic elements of language to paint false narratives that serve to portray themselves as victims and disqualify others for being victims. Because you know what bullying also is? <clears throat> um, <you> <laughs> <laughs> bullying is that coming from Patricia Walker. Isn't D3 worse than D1 and D2? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Bigger Patricia Walker with a free point <laughs> from way, way, way out of bounds. Oh my god. Is it D3 worse than D1 and D2? Yes, I think it is, mate. I think it is. Um okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna listen to my audience. People here are telling me to turn it off. People hate him. <laughs> okay. If you guys want me to stop listening to this and just jump onto what um jump onto the Brendan on the flicking Tiger Belly podcast, then get, let me know in the chat. Shall I just jump off this and move straight away? What do people, what are people saying in the chat? <laughs> I'll go by what you guys see. <laughs> D freeze party school. So what? He was playing football against Bert Kreischer. <laughs> Is that what he was doing? <laughs> okay, watch Tiger Belly. Everyone say watch Tiger Belly. Watch Tiger Belly. Um, jump off, jump off. Okay, cool. I'm jumping off now. <laughs> oh, BGL got a resounding nope from this audience. A resounding nope. 